right, so we're, welcome to my garage. It's not the workshop, but this guy arrived today. It's a filter cutter uh, from Long Acre. Got it off Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut open the coolant filter right there. But I've already drained down in here, and I'll show you guys what some of what just draining it out has already shown me. Tell you what, they make their money, don't they? Really ain't much to this guy, just... Opens up. It's got a handle here that screws with a set of ball bearings that it sits on. But anyway, anyway this coolant filter here was only run from uh, here to Sebring, and I'll have to look at how many miles that is. So we did about 550 miles on this uh, coolant filter here. Now I'm going to cut it open. I want to get an idea of just how much stuff it took out. This is the third coolant filter that I've had on the truck after two oil cool oil coolers. So I'm hoping the coolant filter really, um, well, I kind of hope it's clean, <laughs> but I know it won't be. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy, set it up in place. See, this is pretty simple stuff. It's got a little cutting wheel right there that basically I'm going to drive this guy into. And start working it around. Drive it in a little more. Now this Wix 24070 is actually a relatively thick canister. So we'll see how much effort this actually ends up taking. Oh, there we go. We're starting to cut through. Yes, we are. I'll loosen it just a little bit there so you can't cut just the rest of the way through. Wow, that really made short work of it. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. So we can take a look at the inside filter. You can see there. Ooh. I don't see much dirt or anything in the pleating. It's a little bit down here toward the bottom. The pleating actually doesn't look too shabby. And you can see some of that dirt and rust particles down in there. Another view here. Some of that rust particles. And the filter itself. Now, I actually didn't grab this just to cut this one filter open. I actually have. This is actually the filter that I took off. The first filter I took off. I never cut it open. So I'm curious to see how much this stuff, how much this filter grabbed, in the first time that I had it. First, though, I have to properly dispose of the stuff I have in there so I can empty this into it. All right. So first things first. Let's go ahead and pour this in. Oh, wow. I'll say I picked up some dirt. Let's cut this bad boy open and see what it looks like. Man, how bad was the inside of the... Now, this is after all those flushing videos I did. Yeah, this is that that coolant filter right after that. This is the very first coolant filter that I had ever installed on there. I'm a little flabbergasted by this. All those flushing videos you guys saw I did? I mean, I, I flushed the living mess out of this thing. I am incredibly surprised to see how much more just nastiness was in here. So here's what we've got. Wow, this thing was filthy. Just chunks of rust and dirt. These pleats are very, very dirty. Just to compare the two. How much cleaner. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace it again. I've only done probably over 250 miles on there, but I'd like to cut open one more and see how, how it's doing. Make sure it's nice and clean because I do not want to do another oil cooler. I am sick and tired of that. I can definitely recommend the Long Acre filter cutter. It's a little expensive, I think, for what you get. Well, honestly, I probably could have just made this. I kind of figured it was going to be a little bit more than that, but I don't know why I thought that. 
So yeah, coolant filter. Great idea for your Ford 6.0.